Hey guys, just a random video before this stuff comes down. I just wanted to show you something I've been up to. I've been creative. Put this up two years ago. Now, on my wardrobe, which is around here, as you can see, I have all this stuff up. Uh, so, you're probably wondering what all this is. I will go ahead and tell you. Um, now this is related to buses and trains. Well, as you can see, it's mostly bus stuff. I do have a little bit of trains on there and the left there. Being a little sticker up top, by the way, I'll go into detail on that in a second. Um, also, I've got a, got GWR band down here. Uh, well, that would normally be stuck up there, but it fell off. So um, I didn't mind bother bo putting it back up again to be taken down anyway soon. So I'm moving house, I'd have to get a new wardrobe. Still would have come down with this lot. So there's no point of uh, putting that back up. So, uh, so I'll start off. Uh, yeah, these aren't exactly top knot. These aren't, these aren't exactly spot on, but these are hand drawn buses. These are the local fleet we have around here on Stagecoach. Stagecoach and Southdowns. I'm in Bog and Regis, so it's all the fleet we have around there. So this top one here is a Optair Solo M880 SL. Uh, I put a number on it's 47692, but we didn't actually get one, we didn't actually 47692. It's normally 4764 something around the Solo M80 SLs, the Solo M8, the Solo M880 SLs, big pardon, around here. Uh, down here, yeah, it's not exactly the best drawer in the world. That is meant to be an, op, that is meant to be an Optair Solo N920 SR. <laughs> I put a number on that one. Yeah, the yeah, ones we've got are 47932, which is the star livery, and 47933, which is the regular stagecoach livery. Um, we used to have 47928, 47929 uh, through to 47931. Uh, 47928 and 47928 through to 47931. Um, 47928 have gone to Farnborough, I believe, which are the regular stagecoach liveried. M920 SRs or solo M920 SRs. Um, the that 47930 and 47931, I have not a clue where they've gone. If, if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. If anyone knows, please let me com If anyone knows, please let, let me know in the comments below. So that'd be interesting to know. By the way, 47930 and 47931 are star levered ones. And 47933 was originally star livery once until uh, 47928. Fleet, for fleet numbers 47928 fleet numbers 47928 to 47931 went missing. But obviously we have 47928 and 47929 have gone. So yeah, so 47933 has lost its star livery. That's the, that's the regular stagecoach livery bus. Anyway, enough of that. Um, down here, this is meant to be a Volvo Olympian. Which operate in Chichester. Um, they operate in the 48th on the regular service, which goes from the bus station to Tesco. Uh, this is an Envaro 300. I've got the livery slightly wrong, but mm, this front end is not too bad. It. Um, yeah, they have actually put, put, put the rounding on here as well. Well, you probably can't. You might be able to hear, on hear that, but I don't know. But we've got. Uh, no, you probably might be able to hear that, but probably not. No, you probably might be able to hear that, but maybe not. Or probably not. The uh, You can hear it, they've got Christmas music on the jukebox in the living room. So this is 27653, I've done here. Let's put the number put on it. The number would normally be in the back on an Enviro 300. And as, as it is most fleets. Yep, and that is a real stagecoach bus, and it is in normally in the Coastal 700 livery, but I haven't actually uh, done that on this particular drawing. And down here is a Alexander Dennis or ADL Envio 400. Uh, I haven't put a number on that one. Around here we get some on actual Envio 400 chassis, also on Scania chassis, which are based at Portsmouth. You have one one Worthing-based one in Cancer Research livery. 
which I believe now be transferred to the Chester Depot. Um, which is that's one five five eight six, and also uh, we've got Tridents. So that's yeah, just got Tridents with this body on. So Trident, Trident chassis with these bodies on. Which are very rare to sell under these days because it's mostly Scanniers and Envir 400s. Uh, you normally see these on the U7 in the, in the University livery and on the 60 in the New South Downs Connections livery, also on the 50 to Summersdale. You see them as well. Uh, yeah, so moving on. Down here, it says Dennis Star SPD, but it's not. It's actually a Dennis Star SLF. Uh, yeah, so you. Yeah, we have got one running today that I've seen on the 600, which runs between Elmer, Tempestine Road, and Chester the Cathedral. 34517 that's running today. This particular drawing isn't of any particular dart. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, it's not exactly a work of art, but you know, it's just something I did in my free time. Oh my god, this video is going on. <laughs> okay, right, I better hurry this up. Um, so, here, uh, if you live in Portsmouth or Winchester, or haven't, Hampshire, sort of, or out of Portsmouth, Winchester area, I'll say. Um, you recognise these, these are the destination, the, well, the passenger information system screens on stagecoach buses, all different routes. I've done one for all the South Down, all the stagecoaches and the South Downs routes in Bognor Regis and Chichester. Yeah, I won't go through all of them, but if you want to read all of them, please pause the video. Yeah, obviously that one's also operated by Stagecoach and Porter from Baha and Stagecoach and South Downs too. Yeah, but it's mostly South Down ones. And, I've, and I have forgot the U7. Damn it. Uh, so sort of train stuff, I've got this from the one of the film at Birmingham New Street to have uploaded onto YouTube. You have to have one of these, you have to sign in at Birmingham New Street, one of those stations. It's quite a major station. Uh, obviously, I do know. Uh, down here is all the places I've been the train. And I've also put a key to all, to all, the, all the different colours, which um, represents different operators. So pause that if you want to read that. If I go up closer, uh, you pause that and you have to read the places I've been. And down here is the recent one I've done. This is channel related this is the gadge boy 313 so it's a class 313 313206 two precise i've done here um and i've called it the gadge boy 313 so that's that i'll put the uh subscribe i think it's the youtube logo up it's the youtube logo up there and the top of the carriages so there's a sub subscribe logo in various locations on the different carriages and also got my channel logo in the middle of each coach and also the number of the unit as well, 313206 I made that on paint uh, and obviously this GWR logo normally on the wardrobe bit fell off and I'm not going to put it back up because uh, we're taking down soon anyway as I said because I'm moving house it got on the new wardrobe so there's no point putting it back up again uh, well, the reason I've got a GWR logo is just because I like the rounding really, it just looks nice uh, We've even got a GWR mug as well. And we've even got a GWR coaster. We have a charger out of the way. Uh, yeah, that is a, that was, that is a, I just like the GWR brand because it looks good, really. Uh, oh, yeah, I've also, <laughs> in my uh, free time, it's a bit, man, yeah, a bit weird. But I've made my own Bose module out of this Donne shoebox. It's got my Monster Micro. It's got my Monster Cloud HD Micro in there. If I just lay on its side, I'll show you. There it is. That's where it, that's that, that's its home <laughs> in in my fake module. It in my yeah my in my homemade module. Something will work. <laughs> even, even, even put a port even put a port on it as well. All right, it's been just going for ten minutes. So I'm gonna hurry up now. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's just a thing. That's a 
smartphone projector. Uh, I've got that for my birthday. Um, you can assemble it yourself. Yeah, it doesn't really work very well. It doesn't really, it doesn't really work very well. It needs to be pitch black. And you need your phone on maximum brightness for it to work properly, really. You just put your phone in it and it will just shine the screen on the wall. Um, but the problem is it's how it, it um, comes out upside down. And the mind actually uh, shows the picture the wrong way as well. So say what so what say if we got say you've got the bed on the left here and the chair on the right. On there, when when, it, when it's being projected, when the, there's a video being projected out of there we're of that. Um the chair will be on the left and the bed will be on the right, basically. Yeah, so the chair will be left and the, the chair will be on the left and the bed will be on the right. <laughs> Yeah, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the wrong way around. Uh, and also, <laughs> a bit random. Yeah, I've made my own image sound AHD one. Or do I have one player? Uh, yeah. Space. This is a digital shop player. So this is a digital player that plays at a restaurant or something. What it plays? It, it's got blast music out. Out through the system, and it's uh, updates itself via the internet, via the internet or satellite. We've got a load of paper trash up there. I did make a couple of fake Bose cubes as well. A couple of, yeah, fake Bose cubes, they're a bit messy, quite messy. Here's one. I, tried, I, was, I did have, a, have them stuck, stuck up there, but they kept falling off, falling off and, you know, just, you know, just getting annoying and, yeah, I just thought, nah, I'm not putting them back up again anymore. Yeah. Just thought, nah, I just had the module in its own. I was happy with the module in its own. And here's the other one, just completely squashed. That's better, a bit of a better shape, it's been completely destroyed. <laughs> yeah, so what, what, what I used to get up to in my free time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, and there's also a load, of, a load of crap up there as well. Uh, so that is it. This video's now gone for 12 minutes, so I do, do apologise about it dragging on that. Um, but that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I have a video to come, which I'll probably have uploaded before this one, of a speaker in a cafe near me. Which sound, seems to be, sounds pretty good. Pretty basic. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.